So today I'm talking about a Dodge with a P0068 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Dodge P0068 code? Well, it's a manifold absolute pressure mass airflow sensor throttle position correlation. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses different sensors and the throttle body to get the air fuel ratio mixture right going into the engine. And it's seen a problem with a few of these sensors and the throttle body working together. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor, could be a bad intake air temperature sensor, could be a bad mass airflow sensor, could be a faulty or dirty throttle body, it could be a vacuum leak, and possibly a bad throttle position sensor. And so the most common cause of a Dodge with a P0068 code is going to be a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor. And while it's not the only thing that can cause this, this is a very common problem, is that that manifold absolute pressure sensor has just gone bad and needs to be replaced. You can't test it if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing to go and check is going to be that manifold absolute pressure sensor. And their exact location is going to vary a little bit depending on the year, the engine, and things like this. But they'll be on the intake manifold somewhere. For example, here's a 2004 Ram 1500 4.7 liter. And it's located right at the front of the engine, right next to the air conditioning air compressor. But the first thing to go and check out is going to be that manifold absolute pressure sensor and so if you test that and it tests good or you replace it then the next thing to go and check is going to be the intake air temperature sensor or the mass airflow sensor some dodges don't have a mass airflow sensor again it's going to depend on the year and the engine and things like this but many dodges don't use a mass airflow sensor they use the intake air temperature sensor which either way is basically going to be located in the same spot it's going to be located on the air intake somewhere right after the air filter but before the air goes into the throttle body so if you just look around your intake air box it should be located somewhere very close to that before the air goes into the engine. For example, this is a 2010 Dodge Ram 1500, and this is the intake air temperature sensor right here. Here's another example of a Dodge Charger. This is the intake air temperature sensor right here, right before the air goes into the throttle body. That manifold absolute pressure sensor is up here on the top. But the next thing to go and check out is going to be this intake air temperature sensor or a mass airflow sensor if you have that. And so if you go through and you replace or test these sensors and you're still having this problem, then the next thing to go and do is to check out this throttle body and see if it's really dirty. Because if it is really Really dirty that can mess things up and throw things off and it might just need to be cleaned up there's some throttle body cleaner that you could buy like automotive stores and things like this and basically you just clean it up real good you could even use it like a little toothbrush and just clean it up real good and quite commonly that'll solve a lot of problems so next thing to do is go check out that throttle body be sure it doesn't look real dirty or anything like this and if it does then it's a good idea to clean it because that can cause issues and so if you go through and you do all that and this code just won't clear then it's also possible that you have a vacuum leak somewhere on the air intake and it's just throwing those sensors off off, and that one of these hoses going into the intake somewhere is just leaking for some reason and there's different ways you go about trying to find an air intake leak some mechanics will carry around like a spray and then they'll start the engine and then wherever they think the leaks at they'll spray and if the idle changes then they know that's where the leaks at another method is that you use a smoke machine and you feed smoke into the air intake and then wherever the smoke comes out you know where the leaks at and you can fix it but the next thing to go and do is to look around look at all these hoses and everything going into the intake and be sure there's no leaks going on because that will cause issues and another thing that can cause this issue sometimes is a bad throttle body position sensor and while not too common it can cause issues sometimes it can throw things off so if you go through everything else and you still can't get this code to clear then go through and either test or replace that throttle body position sensor because that can cause problems if it goes bad and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a dodge with the p0068 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day